is Will Martin from the Denver Nuggets. We live, kicking it at real fast, real talk. Fans, real talk.com. Well, Arthur Domus tricked young and intern Tom for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the cat scan. What's going on? It's Trip Young, real fans, real talk. Oh, man, just uh, touched down, made it to Boston, so I'm actually doing this blog from uh, my grandmother's house. Um, but, uh, you know, so much been going on in the sports world that uh, I had to stop and uh, just get this uh, vlog out the way. But uh, first and foremost, make sure you guys are tuned in uh, every Thursday night, 8 to 9 p.m. in New York City when we go live, BPN2. Uh, that's Verizon 44 throughout the entire New York City. If you guys aren't in New York, of course, you know, you can still check us out, but you're going to have to check us out on the YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash for the fans productions. Or you could just go on to the website, realfansrealtalk.com, and you can check all of the shows, all of the blogs, all of the blogs, and just catch up with us and see uh, everything that we're doing. Um, before I do jump into this uh, blog, I got to shout out one of the Real Fans Real Talk family members, that, you know, the extended family, our Alabama family, the WBC heavyweight and still champion of the world, uh, Deontay Wilder, came back to Brooklyn. I, this might have to be your second home, Deontay. You might you, you might just have to just call it what it is, man, because every time you come to Brooklyn, you know, somebody getting knocked out. Uh, you know, they, they, they coming for your title. They pretty much sending everybody, you know, at you that they could possibly find, you know, outside of Anthony Joshua. We're going to get into that on Thursday show. I'm going to save that for Thursday show. But uh, just want to say again, congratulations to the champ. Uh, you know, you stuck it out. You was, you, you was in a little bit of trouble in there. You know, in that seventh round, you know, I was clenching my, my, my fingers together and gritting my teeth a little bit. But uh, you definitely held on. Showed uh, the, the the heart of the champion that you are. I remember, uh, you know, when uh, we chopped it up on the Real Fans Real Talk interview, and uh, one thing that you told me, you know, is how uh, you have fulfilled that promise to your daughter. Um, in regards to you know becoming the heavyweight champion of the world, uh, I'm I'm sure she's very proud of you and continues to be proud of you to this day. Wheels. What's going through your mind when your hand is being raised in that ring, and it's the new Heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder. You know, first off, I made a lot of people a lot of money, and I, 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 I made a lot of people lose a lot of money. So, been uh, been so the lesson learned for those that lost money, don't bet against me, bet with me to make money. You know, we all about making money. But um, you know, to answer your question, the first thing that went through my mind was like, wow, you know, the the, the fact when I went back to iterate it on how I promised my daughter that I'd be a world champion. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Like, I'm a, I, you know, I fulfilled that promise because as a child, I, I was promised a lot of things, but nothing was fulfilled for me. You know, I had to go out and get it on my own, which made me a better man, which made me who, who I am now, a hard worker, super hard worker at that. But um, that was something I, I promised to her, and when I was able to fulfill it, it did my heart well. Even when I returned home, my daughter would like say, Dad, she said she's proud of me. And it made my heart feel good because most of the time, as fathers or as mothers, we tend to tell our children that we're proud of them, not have it reversed on us. And for the child to say they're proud of, uh, of you. So that, that was an awesome feeling right there, first and foremost. Uh, so, yes, again, congrats to you, champ. Um, hopefully, you know, many more title defenses to come, man. We, we need you to, to get that get that record. I know Mayweather hit 50 and no, but you know, that's a heavyweight record. So we need you, we need, we need the, 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 the heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder, to get that, uh, that record, man. But, uh, on to today's vlog topic. Uh, you know, it, it is, just, I kind of ironic that I'm actually, uh, doing this topic right here because, uh, you guys know I'm not a Kobe Bryant fan in the slightest. I'm far from it. I, you know, I just, I just don't, you know, don't like Kobe. Uh, but you know, if you guys know one thing, I've always given Kobe his respect as one of the greatest to ever step on the basketball court and uh, play. I mean, you can't deny five NBA titles, two Finals MVPs. Uh, you know, regular season MVP, four-time All-Star Game MVP, 
uh, with with the top three scoring all time. You can't deny that, you know. So you, you got to give respect where it's due. I mean, y'all y'all know how you know. I, I gave y'all the top five worst uh, moments in uh, Kobe history uh, on the show uh, last year. So y'all know how I feel about Kobe, but I do give him his uh, his respect. Um, like I said, as one of the greats. So you know. Of course, we're coming off of the Academy Awards last night, and Kobe takes home the award uh, for Best uh, Animated Shorts. Um, so, you know, listen, man, you, you, you got to respect it. You know, it's especially, you know, someone who is, you know, in the sports world as a television host, but also in the in the film world and, and someone who you know definitely one of the goals you know in my career is to to get that coveted academy award i definitely have to tip my hat to kobe um i guess uh you know athletes uh, basketball players can definitely do more uh than than dribble um as as that uh that uh, I'm not even going to give no clout to the station or her, but as that analyst said, um, you know, I guess she was wrong about basketball players needing to shut up and dribble, because uh, you know, we've seen basketball players and just athletes in general, uh, you know, outside of their respective sports, do so many great things, you know, whether it be you know, in film and in television. Or just opening up businesses. I mean, you know, you got guys like Magic Johnson. I mean, Starbucks. You got the Magic Johnson Theaters. You know, uh, guys like LeBron, you know, who have all of these various charities uh, around the world. I mean, we, we, we all know what Colin Kaepernick does, you know, with the, with the Know Your Rights camp. So, you know, these athletes are doing amazing things on and off the court. And I definitely think that they need to be acknowledged for that because they don't get enough acknowledgement for the work that they put in off the court. And, uh, you know, an Oscar, I mean, Kobe just put himself on a whole nother plateau by bringing home the, you know, the Oscar award. You know, I mean, <laughs> I saw a meme on uh, Instagram that was comparing uh, Kobe and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. And they got Leonardo DiCaprio. It got about 15, 20 movies on the list. Kobe has one. And then it has, they both have one Oscar award. You know, so, and, you know, especially, you know, being being a black man, you know, th those aren't awards that, that we often get. I mean, I'm sure, uh, you know, there's so many times where I felt like Denzel was robbed <laughs> out of an Oscar. Just, you know, some actors in general, there's not, not just, you know, Denzel, but so many uh, black actors and actresses, directors, filmmakers, you know, that we feel like, don't even get those nominations, you know. So the fact that Kobe not only got nominated for an Academy Award, but he actually won, uh, you know, you got to respect it. Again, I tip my hat to Kobe, you know. I still think uh, LeBron is better than <laughs> better than you, Kobe. Uh, and, and you're definitely not even close to MJ, you know. But as far as, you know, athletes and uh, term filmmakers, you definitely got one up on uh, on both of those guys. So again, I definitely salute you for that, Kobe. Congrats on Oscar. And uh, actually, I got I can't even end this this vlog because we're talking about the Oscars. I have to congratulate uh, Jordan Peele as well for uh, winning uh, the Academy Award for Best uh, Screenplay for Get Out. It's just a, a great movie. I thought it should have got movie of the year as well. But you know we can't get them all. But uh, definitely, congrats to uh, to both of, of these two gentlemen. Definitely uh, displaying black excellence at its finest. So again, I'm Trip Young for Real Fans Real Talk. Make sure you guys tune in this Thursday. We will be back at the station going live 8 to 9 p.m. on Verizon 44 in New York City, or you can uh, watch it uh, via the website realfansrealtalk.com. And uh, make sure you subscribe to all of our social media. Twitter, Instagram, at RealFanTalk, Facebook.com forward slash RealFansRealTalk, uh, and subscribe to that YouTube channel, man, YouTube.com forward slash RealFansRealTalk. With that being said, man, I'm out of here. RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and Intern Tom, Tom for the Tom. white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark.